Well, first of all, thanks for having me, Frank. I, I always appreciate talking to people who, um, well, there's no other way to put it, who get it. Um, you know, in, in the past few years, um, we've been watching a gathering crisis uh, that was pretty obvious for people like um, you and myself. Um, we, I, I think we're able to sp speak the same sort of language mm -hmm. because in a way, I sort of grew up in the consequences of the, the project that you and your father had carried out, obviously. Um, I grew up in an evangelical community that was absolutely riddled through with extremist ideology latent white supremacy, conspiracy theories, apocalyptic um, narratives. And I, I, I grew up absolutely steeped in the idea that eventually we would reach a point of apocalyptic conditions uh, in which America would be under attack by liberal forces, outside forces, internal traitors. Uh, all of this is part of a satanic scheme in order to attack both God and his chosen champion, the United mm -hmm. States of America. Uh, it took me a long time to sort of come out from underneath that mythology, that narrative, which uh, we need to talk about how that was constructed and what it does and what it, uh, what it entails mm -hmm. and empowers. So we're able to understand that sort of worldview in a way that unfortunately, I think a lot of people fail to, mm -hmm. um, you know, leading up to 2016 with Donald Trump gaining the support of white evangelicals. I, I, I think we both looked around and we saw a lot of people saying, how could they support this guy? How could that, how could he possibly get the vote of evangelicals? Like, look at what they say they're about. Meanwhile, I think that we've seen up close the hypocrisy, the power mongering, the conspiracy theories, the fear mongering. Um, and it, it made it very clear what was happening. And now we are living in a new era of crisis, uh, a lot of different crises that are combining for a larger existential societal crisis. And to understand how we got here is to understand how these stories that you and I both were steeped in for a very long time, how they, they came to dominate culture and history, politics, mm -hmm. economics, you name it, but also what the consequences of those things actually are.